Hi, this is Jake Wells with EnviroSight. I'm going to walk you through the process of making sure your Roborex system components are properly pressurized. Maintaining proper system pressure is essential to preventing water ingress and also to have a mechanism to know whether a certain component is leaking air. If you lose pressure regularly, that indicates that a service visit is probably in order. Otherwise, you can just repressurize the system and it should last for several days or weeks. If a system component is under pressure, you'll see a warning flashing in the status bar at the top of your VC200 pennant. To investigate this warning, simply click Device Control, then System Status, and you'll see in red every component that's under pressure. In this case, camera pressure is too low at 30 millibar, and crawler pressure is too low at 45 millibar. Minimum threshold for pressure in Roborex system components is 500 millibar. To pressurize a Roborex system component, you'll need four tools. First, you'll need the camera tool that's supplied with your Roborex crawler. Second, you'll need a canister of nitrogen or CO2. You'll need a regulator to attach to the canister. And you'll need a valve adapter that threads into your Roborex system component. The first thing you'll need to do is locate where the pressurization valve is on the Roborex component you wish to pressurize. On the Roverex camera lift, you'll see that the pressurization valve cover is on the top portion, on the side. For the Roverex camera head, it's on the side of the camera. And for the Roverex crawler body, it's behind the rear left wheel. So when pressurizing the Roverex crawler body, you'll need to remove the rear left wheel. Then, with the camera tool, Loosen the valve cover and remove it. And then thread in the valve adapter until it's fully seated. You can take the cap off the valve adapter. Now's the time to pressurize the Roverex system component. You should be using dry nitrogen or CO2. Using shop air or using paint gun CO2 will introduce moisture into the system which can condense and fog up your field of view. So make sure you're using dry nitrogen or CO2. Next, make sure the regulator is set to right around 10 PSI. Now take the nozzle from the regulator and simply apply it to the valve adapter that you've threaded into your Roverex system component. Once you've done that, you can simply unthread the valve adapter and replace the cover. The same procedure will work on every Roborex component. Again, simply unthread the valve cover, thread in the valve adapter, make sure the regulator on your canister of dry CO2 or nitrogen is set to about 10 psi, and simply charge the valve adapter. You'll want to confirm that you've properly pressurized your Roverex system components. So on the VC200 controller, simply go back to device control, system status, and the green text will show that the pressure readings for the components that you've just pressurized are within the acceptable 500 to 1000 millibar range. Maintaining proper pressure in your Roverex crawler is key to preventing downtime in large repair bills. So thanks for taking the time to learn how to properly pressurize your Roverex system components.